Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm doing a quick review for Volley Pals on Xbox. Let's take a look, shall we? Volley Pals is a 2D volleyball game which is basically done in a sort of arcadey simple style with each of the different environments bringing a different style of mechanic to each of the matches. So if you're playing on the beach, you've got one thing. If you're playing on the moon, you've got like enhanced gravity. If you're playing in the library, you've got the fan. There's all sorts of different things that basically um, mean each of the different environments are unique in how they affect the ball and how you play. Now this game is built for four-player local multiplayer so you can play this 1v1 or 2v2 you can play it with any number of AI or real players and there are a variety of different environments to unlock now there's also a selection of different characters and colors that you can use to choose your um, style there isn't a huge amount but it's pretty cool and there's also a customization of your own level so you can sort of design your own environment to play on which is a, a nice little addition so what do i think of volley pals honestly it's a fun but limited game so it's a fun little game you would play with your friends for a little bit it at times can get a bit um, hectic especially with all of the sort of uh, craziness with the ball going all over the place it's it's fun and like I say very simple to to play you basically have like a jump button and a movement That's it. There's nothing much else to it. It's all just about jumping and hitting the ball at the right angle basically now I don't know exactly how volleyball is but you have three hits to get the ball across the net and you can also set like how long the game's gonna be and what the score limit is and stuff like that as well now I did like the variety in the environments, so similar things where you could um, change it up depending on where you play. Like I enjoyed like the anti gravity and like the ghost that picks the ball up in like the mansion and throws it away and stuff like that. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, now this game isn't fully sort of hardcore volleyball. Like I say, you're able to go into your uh, opponent's side. Um, you can like steal their service before they serve you can increase the height of the net um, you can play rock paper scissors um, silly things like that and while it is fun it is unfortunately limited like I say there, there is four player local multiplayer but there is no online multiplayer which is a massive shame there isn't a huge amount of characters and while all the environments are different and they have different sort of um, environmental hazards and environmental effects and stuff like that there isn't a huge amount of levels and the core gameplay basically boils down to the same thing but I did enjoy this game it was fun to play in short bursts you will it gets repetitive and you will get bored of it pretty quickly probably within an hour but it's fun, if you've got a few friends around, it's fun to sort of um, have a laugh with in that sense. But if you're just playing it on your own, you'll probably play it quickly and then probably never pick it up again. Um, Achievement-wise, it is really good for achievements. Uh, you can get the full 1,000 game score very, very, very quickly. It's basically just playing a level on each of the environments and stuff like that. It's not super difficult. So achievement hunters out there, make sure you take a look because this is something you'll definitely want to play. Volley Pals was released on the 10th of March 2023, developed and published by Nesu, who were kind to send us a copy for this video review. It's priced at £5.39 and it's playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. And for that amount of money, it's a really good deal. Like I say, it's a very fun game, especially if you're playing with friends. If you're playing it solo, it will get boring pretty quickly. There isn't a lot to it. But when you're playing with a group of friends over all these funny environments and stuff like that, there's like the um, there's the 
there's the beach, there's like a inside an arcade game, all sorts of weird things, and they've all got these cool sort of interactive environmental sort of differences. Really cool and really fun to play, but if you're on your own, there's not much else to it once you've got the achievements. There's no like story mode or anything, you just literally play one, finish it, and it unlocks the next one, and you play that, finish it, it unlocks the next one. So. If you don't mind that, you just want to play it for fun and you want to have it for like a party game, this is a great game for that. But other than that, it's a bit lacking in areas which could have made it like a real standout title. But like I say, it's priced at £5.39, which is absolutely fantastic for this sort of game. So check it out if you like the sort of things you can see on the screen right now. It's just more of the same um, across a variety of different areas with a variety of different characters. But that's that for this video guys, hope you've enjoyed it, if you're happy that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you very soon for more content. Bye for now.